Hi everyone, and welcome to week three of the musical devotion series I'm doing for Advent slash Christmas, where I talk a bit about some of our favorite Christmas carols and a little bit about their history, and then I sing them for you. Um, today I will be talking about In the Bleak Midwinter. I know I said this about the carol last week, but this is also one of my very favorite Christmas carols, so I was happy to learn a little bit more about it. <clears throat> So In the Bleak Midwinter began as a poem in, Janu in the January 1872 issue of Scribner's Mon Monthly. It was originally called A Christmas Carol. That's what the poem was called. It was written by Christina Georgina Rossetti, author of three collections of poetry, mostly religious, and she also wrote four devotional books. Rossetti's deep faith could have been the result of her struggle with poor health from the age of 14 when she suffered a nervous breakdown. From then on, both illness and depression plagued her for the rest of her life, unfortunately. Regardless, she still helped her mother at a day school in Somerset, volunteered at a house for reformed prostitutes for over a decade, and she also opposed war, slavery, and exploitation in both people and animals. She is regarded as an important Victorian poet. In 1906, the English hymnal with tunes was printed, and they printed this text to the tune of Cranham, composed by Gustav Holst, a very famous composer, um, very famous now composer. He um, is probably most famously known for his, or his orchestral composition, The Planets. So that's a very brief history of In the Bleak Midwinter. Um, and here is In the Bleak Midwinter. <laughs> 